So today we're going to make Kenji's 10 minute pasta recipe, though it did take me longer than 10 minutes. Start by getting like 6-ish cloves of garlic and peeling them. Easiest way to peel them, take the flat side of your knife, crush them, and then peel the skin off. And then, if you're lucky, computer editing will take over and you'll get really, really fast at doing it, just like this. Okay, so we're going to peel our 6 to 8-ish cloves of garlic, just like this. And then when we're finally done peeling all these, what we're going to do is we're going to slice them really nice and thin. And these slices are going to be what flavors our oil for the pasta sauce. Okay, now we go over to our pan, which we have over medium heat. Make sure it's hot enough. And we're going to take out our extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to dump in, oh, let's call it four tablespoons. But I'm going to be honest, I don't measure this, and more oil is probably where I tend to lean. There we go. And you know what, a little bit more. There we go. And then what we're going to add to this oil is we're going to let this oil get hot, cover our whole pan in it, Make sure it gets hot, check the heat, then we're going to grab our garlic, and we're going to take our garlic, and we're going to throw it in this oil. We're going to cook this garlic until it gets nicely cooked. We don't want it burnt, but we want a nice pungent garlic smell, and it cooked all the way through. Now, I toss this in here, my oil is a little too cold, it, so it takes me a little bit to get, the, to get the garlic cooked, but just judge it by the smell. Once the smell is really strong, you're good. Giving it up while I'm giving my all to make sure that my love can someday heal. Don't love yourself, looking for wealth in those familiar places. Okay, once our garlic is nicely cooked through, it's time to start making our sauce. And we're throwing in cherry tomatoes here. Now we're using cherry tomatoes because they're going to cook faster than regular tomatoes. Plus they have more pectin. Now when the pectin comes out of them, it helps us make a better sauce quicker so as they burst they'll release their pectin and it'll like jam up into a nice delicious tomato sauce so that's why we can put this sauce together much quicker than like a normal marinara so I've got these in here stirred them around the pan just to cover them with our delicious uh, garlic olive oil and them with a nice heavy pinch of salt and we're just gonna hit them with a little bit of cracked black pepper and we'll let these start cooking down okay Feel the shade. So I leave it all behind you Don't love yourself Looking for wealth In those familiar places You want to be seen As more than a dream That you gon' keep replaying You don't love yourself Looking for wealth Okay, so the sauce has started to cook down really nice and really thicken up, and you could see I was helping it along by crushing the tomatoes with the back of my spoon, but I tasted it, and I thought it was not quite sweet enough, so I add in a sugar cube here, and then you'll see me stir it around, and then you'll realize I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop, I'm going to think, and I'm going to realize that as the sauce cooks down, it's still going to sweeten, and I'm going to take my mostly undissolved sugar cube out because I decide I didn't need it, and so that's what's happening right here. You got away with the words, hope I'm worth your time. Well, ever when you look so fine, confident and humble, you ain't gotta try be the peak of my life. Okay, so here I realized my pasta was al dente, went to go strain it, realized I didn't reserve some pasta water, and then start reserving some pasta water. Now we need to reserve some of the pasta water because it helps us make a nice, well emulsified sauce. Now, this is also why I make sure I use as little water as possible when I'm cooking the noodles to really concentrate those starch molecules to really help us get a better consistency for our sauce. So I reserve uh, a little bit under a cup of this water right here and we're going to use that to help emulsify our sauce. 
some depth of flavor and some herbaceousness we're adding in some basil here I just have a basil paste I picked up at the grocery store just add in some of it dent measure and stir it around until the, di the dish is appropriately herbaceous and flavored you're better than you think better than you know show me you the boss show them you the boss Now that our tomatoes are nice and cooked down, we're going to add in that starchy pasta water and stir, helping to emulsify the sauce. After we have the pasta water added with just a little bit reserved in case we need to loosen it later, we then just let it reduce down until the sauce reaches our desired consistency. Well, and by yourself you would still be fine. Self love, self made, I can reassure you. Ain't nobody understand till they get in their shoes. And even then, they'll never ever be content cause they addicted to the pain inside. So let your heart do the work, it knows what your mind don't. You're constantly worrying about where the fucking time goes. You wake up certain days, you cannot motivate yourself to get up out of bed and start. Okay. Our sauce has reached the desired consistency and it's time to put the finishing touches on this dish. First things first, we're going to add the pasta to the still cooking sauce. I'm going to finish cooking the pasta noodles through in the sauce so that they really take on some of the flavors of the sauce and the extra starch on the pasta helps finish thickening up the sauce. So we're going to stir that around just until everything is nicely coated. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're just going to add in a little bit of parmesan. Parmesan brings a nice little nuttiness, a little bit of saltiness and just really adds a great depth of flavor and complexity to the dish. For this here, I'm just using cheap grocery store pre-grated parmesan like that. Just dumping it in here, stirring it up, and then our dish is basically ready to go. Well he she cheated now they both defeated in our view that seen it right now. You'll be looking in the mirror, only looking for a flaw. I never thought you'd be the one to fall down. Less to understand that it was never your fault He just really wasn't a man Now you walk and talk, walk and say you want it all She was never part of the plan Okay, so turns out it's harder to do that fancy like twisted painting than it looks on those super fancy food videos I tried it didn't work. Sorry, guys. Direction of a lesson that I really hope you know. You should never say you're sorry for the things you can't control. But learning to love yourself, now that's the goal. You wanna be everything he says. Okay, time to sit down and give this one a try. Take my first bite. Oh nope, gotta wrap it better. Okay, take my first bite. Pretty good, pretty good. Quick little sip of the wine. Clear the palate. Side. Yep, pretty good. Let's go back in for some more. Twirl, twirl. And lift. Oh no, nope, some more twirling. Twirl, 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 twirl. Still twirling. I think I might still be twirling. Twirl. More twirling. Twirl, twirl. And there we go. Delicious dish, you guys. Try this one out. Like and subscribe. I enjoyed this.